Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today, in this tutorial, I will share with you how to design a poster just like this in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go. First thing, let's set up our document. We are going to use a 1700 by 2400 pixels in RGB mode and press create. Next, let's select our type tool, click on our artboard and write a number. I'm going to use the number 2 and change the font to Helvetica New Ultralight. Then, let's right-click and create outlines and remove the fill color. After that, let's go to our toolbar and select the Direct Selection tool. And let's select and delete the two extreme edges of our number. Now, let's select it again, right-click and ungroup it. Right-click again and release the compound path. Perfect, now select the two lines and let's go to Object, Blend and Make. Let's go back to Object and Expand and press OK. Now using the Direct Selection tool again, let's delete the two lines that we had before, leaving us just with the middle one. Let's scale it and move away for the moment. Now let's make the stripe texture for our future 3D object. Let's select a rectangle tool, then make a rectangle and make the fill black. Then select the rectangle, hold the Alt key on your keyboard and drag the rectangle to the side to make a copy. Let's change the fill of the new rectangle to white and let's select them both rectangles and while holding Alt, make a new copy. This time we have 4 strips, and let's duplicate it again until we have 12. Now let's go to Window and find Symbols. Then let's select our stripes and drag and drop them over the Symbols window. Let's name our new symbol as Stripes. On the Export type, let's use it as Graphic. And on a Symbol type, we are going to use it as Static. And press OK. Now let's just close it, select our number and scale it up again. And then go to Effects, 3D and Materials, 3D Classic, and Extrude and Bevel Classic. First, let's choose a pre-made position. For example, I'm going to use an isometric right, but this will work with any position, even a custom one, so feel free to explore different perspectives. And on the Extrude Depth, let's use something that gives it an excellent depth, somewhere around 600. It will depend on the size of your graphic. And then let's go to Map Art, and here is where you add your symbols as textures, on the surfaces of your 3D number object. So let's look for a surface where we can apply it. And when you find a surface with a dark grey grid, your texture will only be visible on a light grey part. So have that in mind. So let's select our symbol and apply it to this surface. We can click scale to fit or we can do it manually. So we have 100% of the control. Let's go to the remaining surfaces and repeat the same process. Try to create some variations on a texture and apply some rotations and different scales of the symbol to make it the visual more dynamic. And when you finish, just press OK. Now we have an isometric number with a striped texture. I do like the result already, but I want to make the design even more exciting. So I will scale up the number, affecting the texture position, leaving me with these solid black parts. Then let's select and make a copy and paste in place. After that, let's right click, go to transform, rotate, and let's use the value of minus 180. Move it down, and, and before we scale it to fit our artboard, Let's select both graphics and go to Edit, Object and Expand Appearance. So now we can scale it without messing up with the texture mapping. Then let's right click and group the numbers to align the graphics to the artboard. And that's almost it. But before we go, let's cut our rectangle tool and make a rectangle the same size as our artboard. Change the fill to a nice color and we are 95% there. Now make a copy of our rectangle, right click and move to the front Select the graphics and the new rectangle, right click again to make a clipping mask, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, let me know in the comments and remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.